Hey y'all, it's Christy from Tea Dottles, and I'm just going to do a little maker update in this video. Um, I don't have much to show y'all, so <laughs> I just want to talk about a couple of things and uh, tell you what I've been doing this week and what I'm going to be doing coming up this month. Kind of the same thing, but <laughs> we'll uh, just have a little chat, a quick little chat, and uh, I'll tell you what I'm up to. But um, uh, so welcome new subscribers. Welcome back subscribers. I'm happy to have you here with me and my maker shenanigans. I do like to do the sewing things, the yarny things, and the DIY things. So if you like to make things, you might like it here. Um, all right then, with that being said, uh, the first thing I was going to show you is I, I had several uh, paint by number set things I ordered off of Amazon a long time ago. Uh, the last one I did, I finally finished it up. I think I showed it to you. It was like a cow or something like that floral cow thing um this one is like a woman with butterflies on her back um that the paint did not look the same color as the image and i forgot to write on that little paper in that it came with uh it was much more grayscale with a little bit of color in it and this did not turn out the same way but so i'll go ahead and show it to you because i finally finished it and I'll talk a little bit about what all this marking on the side is. Here it is right here. Uh, but like I said, this has more browns in it and stuff. Uh, you can see how my little markings at the bottom. And I'll tell you what that's all about. But this is the painting I finished. Um, now, a lot of the paint in this was dried up. Some of it was still very fluid and some of it was dried up. Which it is an older one. But I found that very weird. I don't know what causes one color to go dry up more than another color but anywho um so my son had these copic markers he's like oh you can use this because uh, i was trying to use sharpies on some of it to see how that did just because the paint was it was taking forever because some of it like i said the paint was kind of sticky and even if i put water in it and different i tried different things i couldn't get it to get to where it was easier to paint with um so then he brought the Copic, and I was like, oh, I wish he had done that before I did some of this other. And I used it, and some of it covered very well, but some of it was light, and it didn't cover very much. If you don't know what Copic markers are, they're like alcohol-based markers. They're kind of expensive. Um, I think you can get generic brands that are a little cheaper, but his are the Copic brand, which he had in art school, so they're higher quality or whatever. Um, so... That's what all those markings were, where I picked colors, because I had to mix some colors to try to get colors close to the paint. And then after I did that, because there was no way for me to really cover the numbers better with some of the lighter colors, so I decided to go back over it with the paint. I was like, oh, I like that a lot better. So it looks, the colors aren't exactly probably what the colors were in the paint, but they're definitely not what the image showed. The image was all grayscale. As you, as you can see up in here in her hair, there's a lot of brown going on and it didn't look that way uh, when I ordered it. So, But I haven't decided if I'm going to cut off these edges with the little paint things on it or uh, leave it like that. Because usually I don't frame these. I just I kind of hang them up on my mantle for a little while and then I'll swap them out. Well, I've only got two completed. So that's what I'm going to do with it. Um... I really like this image. I like it better after I went back and forth with some things than I did at first. So, uh, yeah. And I have, I think I have one more over here. Or maybe two more. Hopefully they won't be as dried out. But I think what I'll do still is go over it with the Copic markers and colors that are similar. And then paint it. Because that just seemed to make it cover better. So, we'll see how that goes. So, time to something I finished actually finished it last night <laughs> so there we go now this is something i found in ollie's the other day i feel like this is tilted yeah all right uh yesterday yeah i just went to ollie's yesterday because it was over there with um because i didn't notice what it said on the side but it was over there with the blank canvases and i just saw this image and i was like why are they selling canvases with something already on it over here shouldn't that be in the art section you know like well art um but then i flipped it over that's when i realized it's actually an embroidery set 
And I was like, oh, well, that's really cool. <laughs> I want to try that out. So, um, embroidering on canvas. Um, and it does say something about that up front. I just didn't read all of this. I just saw this and I thought it was weird. But um, it was $5.99. Plus I had a 15% off Ollie's coupon. So I don't know if that you have these in your local Ollie's. But I thought these were pretty cool. They had like two different feather designs in mind. Um, but it comes with instructions and all the floss you need to stitch over it. Um, and I think that's going to be pretty interesting. I'll let y'all know how it turns out. Um, I have... I have done embroidery on a window screen. I never... I haven't finished it. I'd like to finish that project. I did it a while back. I, I saw somebody comment on a video from five years ago. And I was like, Dad, did I start doing videos five years ago? I guess I did. Um, doesn't seem like it's been that long ago. But anyway, I... um. It's where I was talking about it because I had did it for a part of the 100 day project which is sponsored by somebody else. It's something they do. I had seen it on Instagram and was doing it that year. And I just did a little embroidery every day on it. It was freehand embroidery. Um, but I would like to finish that one day. I didn't bring it in here to show you all, but it's interesting to uh, embroider on a screen. I've embroidered on organza. And different things so uh, yeah I like to I like to do things on different mediums like paint on different mediums than you normally would or put fabric on different mediums than you normally would or embroider or whatever I like to combine mediums in that way um, I find that interesting uh, which is one reason I decided to get this because it's on a canvas and I've never embroidered on canvas so I thought that was really neat um, a neat thing to do um, but I have some, a couple of orders coming in I ordered some off of Amazon and off of Hersh Hershers? yes no wait let me think about that for a second no Leisure's Art, Leisure Arts I do have an order coming from Hershner's but that's puzzle things because they had 31 cent shipping but, um, the order from what I did is Leisure Arts has a bunch of kits, which I've shared. I think I've shared some of them on here. Yeah, I have. Um, but I got another embroidery kit from them. I got a macrame kit and I got a mini, uh, crochet kit. Uh, it's like, I think it's an Amic and Remy. Or something. I can't remember which one it is. And then I ordered kind of the same things. Uh, from Amazon because they had some their Prime Day deals or whatever it is. Um, it was an amigurumi in a tin can, and then I found another macrame kit and another and some embroidery kit because I was going to compare the two. That's what I was planning on doing. So I tried to get them at the similar price points. So that'll be coming up whenever I get those in and get it done. They were small projects, so I figured I could work through them pretty quick. Um, and Hershner's puzzle I know I ordered puzzles and puzzle organizers I don't think I ordered anything that was not puzzle related oh I was gonna bring in hold on a second okay <laughs> this is what I forgot to bring in here I ordered this advent calendar puzzle um, off of Amazon I'll put a link down below uh, but it's pretty cool so I'm gonna show you what it looks like it has, you put, it's, it, the puzzle looks like this when you're complete. They had different ones you could choose from. And you put together a little bit of it every day in the month of December. So I thought it was pretty cool. It has a full size poster. And on the back of the poster, it shows you like what to say, which segment, if you look at the back of it. Uh, so. I thought that was pretty neat because I do love to put together puzzles. This is a total of 1,008 pieces. So, you put together a little section of it every day and then it'll be finished by the end of the month or by Christmas. So, I thought that was pretty cool. Um, something I learned because I've been watching puzzle channels because <laughs> I like puzzles too. Um, most puzzles, even though they say they have a thousand pieces or so many pieces, they, they usually have a slightly more pieces than what they say. They just, 
advertise it that way instead of putting that count like that one says a thousand and eight and I thought that was really interesting <laughs> it's like they're uh, using nominal piece counts which is like nominal dimensions in drafting so I, I found that interesting but anyway I just wanted this to be a quick little video I am ready to go um, I'm going out it's a kickoff event for uh, run for your lungs um, I'm hoping I can still register there. It says I can register till five in the morning. So, um, but uh, yeah, we're gonna go in the morning. I'm not running though. I'm walking. There's a walk. There's a one mile walk too. <laughs> so, <laughs> going this evening. They're gonna have a band and stuff. So, uh, it should be interesting. So, I hope y'all have a wonderful weekend and y'all remember to have a life lived creatively. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.